But let's do this last one, okay? I'm going to do the expansion. The reason why is because I see, look carefully, sorry, these are the wrong colors are. The reason I do expansion, the reason I bother with it at all, is because I know that something simpler than this will be once I put this x and x together will give me an x squared. Do you agree with that? So if there are x squareds there, but there's also an x squared here, should be things I can lock together in one heap, and I don't need to write it so many times. Okay? So let's do the expansion without the s's this time. Right. x times 4 minus x, what am I going to get first up? 4x. 4x. I'm going to take away, and we just established x and x will be x squared, plus, and then the 3 goes on to everything in the second pair of brackets. So 3x squared, take away 3x. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. Okay. So in fact, it looks like I can combine a couple of things here, right? Um, minus x squared plus 3x squared, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 is? 2. two. two. And 4x minus 3x, x. x. Now I'll just make a quick note because I sort of did it without explaining. When you go ahead collecting like terms, right, and you have more than one list of things you need to actually combine. It's in your interest to do it in a little bit of order, right? I did the x squared first, and then I moved on to the x's. Kind of what I didn't say, but I was doing in the back of my head, is I just look at the power, and I do the, the biggest ones first, and then I go down all the way to the smallest ones. Um, looking ahead a little bit, we won't do them this topic well, much. But we, if you remember quadratic equations from last year, do you remember these guys? Okay. We tend to write them in this exact order, with the big powers first and the small ones later, and when there's no power, we leave that at the end. Does anyone know why we bother doing that? Like, why is that a sensible way to do things? It's okay if you don't. I will explain. You know, does anyone know? It's just completely random. Because math, which is, imagine you say, because completely random. Let me explain why, okay? Because um, everything is always for a reason. X is some number. We don't know what it is. That's the whole point of algebra, right? But x could be some astronomically large number, like a million, or population of Australia, 24 million, or population of the world, 7 point whatever billion it is at the moment. Now, if the number is really big, then clearly, like the most important thing out of these one, two, three terms, the most important thing will be the biggest number times itself, or the, big, the biggest number cubed, or the biggest number to the power of four. Whichever is largest will be the most significant, and six will just kind of that is off onto the end. Okay? Now keep in mind it could be exactly the other way around. Like x could be something really tiny, and then it's the least important thing. But the point is I don't know, right? Like I have to kind of leave it ambiguous. So therefore, I leave it at the front because often it is very, very large. So it's the term that matters. The reason why I draw it out here is because you want to have some order just so you don't mix it up or so you don't forget any terms. Like that's the only thing that's important here. I just want to make sure I get all of them and I've accounted for everything. And, and colors will help you make sure you've not missed anything. Okay?